Lucy Goose by Danny Baker and Pippa Koenig. Lucy Goose lived all alone in a house on the very edge of the woods. As far as she could remember, she had always lived by herself and had never met or spoken to another animal of any sort. One day, and I think it was a Tuesday, Lucy was in her garden watering the carrot patch when out of a dark clump of trees came a wolf. He tiptoed right up to Lucy and said, Roar! I'm sorry, said Lucy. What did you say? Roar! said the wolf again. Roar? said Lucy, puzzled. What's roar? Well, just roar, answered the wolf. You run away and I chase after you, but I go roar first. <laughs> Don't be silly, said Lucy with a little laugh. I'm not doing that. You seem very nice like a big woolly sausage. Perhaps you'd like to come inside for a cup of tea and a piece of cake. No, 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 grumbled the wolf, turning around and stomping back into the woods. I can't eat cake with a goose. Oh, this is not what's supposed to happen at all. And then he was gone. Lucy thought about the wolf for a little while, but soon moved on to the very important business of picking strawberries. Just then, from out of the dark clump of trees came an enormous bear. I beg your pardon, said Lucy Goose. Repeated the bear, this time with some extra nail waggling. I see, said Lucy. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at being scared. Right, I'll roar again, and you scream and run away, yes? Suggested the bear. No, thank you, said Lucy Goose. You seem very nice too, like a comfy winter coat. You're quite welcome to come inside for tea and cake if you like. No, 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 wailed the big bear, turning around and stomping back into the woods. I can't sit and drink tea with a goose. Oh, this is not what's supposed to happen at all. And then he was gone. Lucy thought about the bear for a little while. She even thought about the wolf. But before long, she had moved on to the very important business of picking some flowers. Just then, out of the dark clump of trees came a lion, shaking his head and making a very cross-looking face at the same time. Oh no, said Lucy Goose, not another one. The lion couldn't remember anybody not running away, screaming from one of his best roars before. It's all right, I know what you want, said Lucy. You go, roar. I'd run away from you and you chase me. But I'm not scared. Everyone runs away from lions, said the lion. Now then, shall I roar again and we start from the beginning? I'm sorry, lion, 
said Lucy Goose, trying to be helpful. You're the first lion I've ever met, and you look very nice, like a fat old carpet. Why don't you come inside and have some tea and cake? No, no, no! thundered the lion, turning around and stomping back into the woods. I can't sit having tea and cake with a goose. Oh, this isn't what's supposed to happen at all. And then he was gone. Lucy thought about the lion for a while. She thought a little bit about the wolf and the big bear as well. Why, she wondered, was everybody always trying to scare everybody else? Just then, out of the dark clump of trees came a goose. Goodness me, said Lucy. You're not going to shout ra or ra ra or ra at me as well, are you? Um, not really, said Bruce nervously. You see, I'm just a goose, the same as you. Bruce Goose, and nobody is really scared of us gooses. Well, that's a relief, said Lucy. Come inside and have a cup of tea and some cake. Or do you think that's not how things are supposed to be? I'd love some tea and cake, said Bruce, smiling. Bruce followed Lucy along the pretty little path lined with lupins, and over the gurgling stream that hurried its way across a bed of wonderfully coloured stones. Passing under an archway made of jasmine flowers, they arrived at the front of the house. And just then, something ran past them as fast as a flash. It was the bear! Then something ran past them as fast as a plane. It was the wolf. Then something ran past them as fast as a lion. It was the lion. They all ran into Lucy's house. Have you changed your minds? Said Lucy happily, but a tiny bit puzzled. Yes, said the wolf. I remembered I liked tea. Absolutely, said the bear and the lion. We adore cake. How marvellous, beamed Lucy. Please stay as long as you like. Oh, we will, said her new friends. We will.